Hello, today we will be solving this problem called Ferris wheel. So there are n children who want to go to a Ferris wheel and our task is to find a gondola for each child. Each gondola may have one or two children in it and in addition the total weight in a gondola may not exceed x. So we know the weight of every child, what is the minimum number of gondolas needed for the children? The first input line contains two integers n and x, the number of children and the maximum allowed weights, and then follow the weight of the children. And n can be as large as 2 times 10 to the fifth, and the maximum weight of a gondola can be as large as a billion, and the weight of the children are between 1 and x, which guarantees that a solution always exists. For example, here if a child had weight 11, then he could never go on a gondola. So this is it for the introduction. Let's try to come up with a solution. So in that example, we had four children and the maximum weight was 10 and the weights were 7, 3, 2 and 9. Let me make sure. That's it. So if we think about it, each gondola may have either one child or two children. And in order to minimize the number of gondolas we're gonna use, we rather have this second condition or the second case where each gondola allocates two children. And in order to do that, if we had uh, a child whose weight is large, we will try to match it with the child with the child whose weight is as small as possible. And that will increase our chance our chances of having two children in one gondola. If we uh, if if we try to do otherwise, then we would compromise our chances of maximizing of minimizing the number of gondolas. That is to say, if you want to solve this problem for this case, we should start by sorting the children. Here it would be something like this. And let's start from here, from the largest weight. So in order for 9 to go with another children, its best chance is to go with the child with uh, the smallest weight, in this case 2. And since uh, 9 cannot go with 2, that means he wouldn't be able to go with any other child. That means 9 has to go with him by himself. So the first gondola will have 9 by himself. And then we move to 7. The, we ask ourselves again the same thing. Uh, for 7, his best bet is to go with 2. And indeed, they both can go on the same gondola because the only their total weight is nine, so seven would go with two. So we have we took care of seven and nine, uh, and two. Now it's time for three. Three does not. Uh, there is only three left, so it will go on a gondola by itself. So the total number of gondolas we're gonna use is three, and this. Uh, strategy guarantees that we'll come up with a optimal solution. So if we traverse the weight of the children this way, we always try to make the best decision of matching this with the smallest weight. If that's possible, then we proceed. Otherwise, uh, the largest weight goes by itself and then we continue. So this is it. Let's check out the code. We start by reading the length of the array as well as the largest weight possible. Then we declare our vector of weights, which represents the weights of the children. Then we scan each weight. Then, as we said, we have to sort the array. Then we'll have two pointers. The, the I pointers points to the smallest weight whereas the J pointer points to the largest weight. 
and this variable here keeps track of the console as we can use then we will have a while loop which guarantees that we not get we are not gonna cross uh, this way and this way this guarantees that we're gonna stop at three uh, because the two pointers uh, can the the height pointer can never be as large as the j pointer so then as long as i is less than or equal to j if both weights if the sum of the weights is less than the uh, allowed weight then we it means that we took care of i and j so we uh, increment i and decrement j and we increase the gondolas used by one because that's the uh, that's the number of gondolas we use otherwise if that's not the case then we have to uh, uh, allocate this whole gondola just for the largest way that means we do not increment the smallest way we simply decrement the largest way and we increase the gondolas used by one and at the end we just print the answer so that's pretty much it let's submit So that worked. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Thank you.